I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Silent shadows on the waves. USS Black Sheep bravely paves with radar sharp and smokes to white in stealth and strength. She'll turn the tide. Black. Under the star-spangled banner, unfurl, unfurl. I guess a hunter in the naval world. In world of warships, she's a sight to behold. A destroyer bold with a heart of gold. Hey team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a fun video about the USS Black, which has been in a requested video that uh, a lot of people are talking about and uh, using in rank these days. And I, I got to say, it's one of the most uh, borderline OP broken ships that I really do enjoy, especially for ranked and even randoms. Uh, and it's very, very powerful. Before we get in, like, subscribe, bell button below. Appreciate all the support. Another 4,000 subs when to do a premium giveaway. As always, thanks to guys for supporting the channel and making this a better community. And we're having fun learning something at the same time. So let's get to it. So take a look at the USS Black. If you don't know what it is, it's a uh, kind of a USS Fletcher design. Uh, and and uh, it has the slight differences of, you can see just at the bottom right there, has radar. That's the biggest one. 7.5 kilometer radar, kind of like the small and Ragnar. Uh, Bill, but what is very, very special about the, um, the USS Black that it has smoke and radar combo, which is so, so freaking powerful and maybe even broken borderline OP for the meta of today because it really is a deterring factor for destroyers. It really is what gives you the extra edge. And I really do believe it is, um, you know, like everything I want in a destroyer, just like uh, the only other destroyer I believe that does this is Gdansk. Correct me if I'm wrong. If there's something else that does it, let me know. I can't think off the top of my head what has a smoke radar combo. I uh, cannot think of it right off the top, but I, I know just the USS Black and the Gdansk are very, 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 very powerful in that regard. And uh, it, is, it is really devastating because what you can do is spot a destroyer. Look at the concealment. The Fletcher concealment of 5.8-ish, which is very, very good. Anything below 6 is awesome. And, of course, you got the smoke radar combo. So you outspot a majority of the destroyers. You, then you can smoke up. Then you can radar in smoke. And then you can just farm to your heart's content. So it's very, very powerful in that regard. The only downside they, they took away from the Fletcher class is the torpedoes. The torpedoes are actually very, very incredibly powerful for the USS Fletcher line. But what they did was they nerfed it in the black in the sense of that they made it really, really, really slow, like 45 knots slow, the speed of smell, right? Now, the cool thing about that is because it's so slow or they did something to it where they made the detection of them very, very small, like 0.8 kilometer detection, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but essentially you literally get only like a few seconds reaction time. Even though they're going at the speed of smell, you can see it right there. And that's why they earned the name of uh, sea mines or land mines that are flowing through the water and uh they're just so difficult to detect but again once it, they're, they just pop up on your visual uh, visual detection you're like oh it's too late but they do travel pretty darn slow if they were faster or anything like that you can build for it uh, to make them a little bit faster uh, they can be very very difficult to detect but again very strong area denial you can deny a whole area um, for um, the for uh, what it needs to be to hold off battleships, cruiser, and so forth. But here's the bread and butter of it right here. The guns, the guns are very, very quick. And here we go against our counterpart, another USS Black, and boom, he goes undetected in smoke. And there we go, we got the radar. If he had nobody spotting for him, like right now, like we smoke up, he's pretty, pretty much SOL. His radar went down, so he didn't time it correctly where he doesn't have any support. And now all we're gonna do is just basically uh, melt this other USS Black to our heart's content. And let's see if we can get this kill. Come on, baby. And boom, splash one. That is the first kill. And that's exactly what the, the USS Black does. Its power is literally in uh, DD bullying and cap contesting and area denial. And that is exactly how I would play it. It does the job very, very well. Notice that the reload on these things are incredible uh, as well. Nothing to nothing to gawk at. Look, the, the, the destroyers, the uh, torpedoes go out to 13.7 range. And look, you're already uh, having another set of uh, second salvo of torpedoes going out when the first set are still going out there. So very, very adequate range, very slow, very you know progressive. They just go out there, hit anything in their path, and their sea mines are just literally area denial and it is the power of what the uss black provides for a team especially in ranked and now we're radar right here and here's another great thing about the uss black it's so maneuverable very very good it's shimmy shimmy shake shake that i always say at just getting out shake and bake getting out of there and really difficult to hit a small slim profile that the uss fletcher provides and it's really really awesome 
and I can't say enough about it. And uh, again, the AA is okay. It's just, again, the Fletcher line, there's, you guys already know the Fletcher. Go look it up. It's essentially a very, very strong, powerful Tier 9 uh, destroyer. I really do enjoy it. It does everything I wanted to do. And uh, uh, coupled with RPF, as you can see right there, Radio Location Finder, uh, it really does provide a great situational on the battlefield, great spotting, great torping, great uh, DD hunting, everything. Again, everything I ever wanted in a destroyer. If they make a Tier 10 version of this, in a sense, like a small one with smoke radar, man, this thing would... That thing would be a Frankenstein of a beast. And let's take a look. Do we get a torpedo? Look, even though we took a, tor a fire torpedo from a long range away, and do it still hit uh, these cruisers? And it's really, really devastating. Very, very powerful. And again, all the Azuma can really do is fire at us, reveals the reveal his position, and boom, we pop the, the radar. I'm sorry, the smoke, and we go undetected. But unfortunately, <laughs> well, fortunately, our team kills him and takes that kill for us as well. Uh, let's take a look uh, right here. What else we can do? Yeah, I mean, the, the guns are very, very powerful. I like the, the fast re reloading guns. Even though they're only single barrel Fletcher guns, I've always liked the Fletcher style guns. It's just like little mini rifles. Um, that just got, and you got five of them, which are really, really cool. If these were, these were double barrel, oh man, this is, that would be a broken OP ship right there. But man, these things start fires very, very well. Great reload. And then the arcs are horrendous. So again, the, the, the Fletcher line is notorious for these very very lofty artillery shell kind of style gameplay but again you can see i'm lobbing them over this hill in this island and uh, that's the good feature about them unfortunately yeah, they're just so slow and very uh, very wonky lofty shells you just got to really know and practice with aiming these things but again uh, they do what their intended purpose is which is a lob uh, over hills or in mountains or whatever you want to call it they start a lot, a lot of fires. Very good at up and close engagements, not for long engagements. But again, these are just basically, this is just a simple superstructure damaging kind of gun, caliber gun. Uh, but they do great work on destroyers. And really, see if we can take this kill. Can we get it? And boom, look at that splash two. Taking out the Johan DeWitt. And uh, that is how you use the uh, black uh, USS Black on this one. Let's see here. Speed it up. I think we win this battle. Yep, there it is. And we'll take a look at another video and uh, see how it plays out. Okay, here's another uh, video with the USS Black right here. And uh, it is, like I said, very, very powerful in today's meta for, you know, ranked, especially these, uh, this season right here. And uh, with the, the release of USS Johnson, uh, very, very powerful destroyer. Um, I'll do a review on that later. Uh, but right now, like, just take a look at the Black. What it's supposed to do is literally what you're seeing is is just a powerful cap contester very stealthy it, it literally is just a stealth fletcher that goes out there uh runs a runs amok has great caliber gun, i'm sorry great reloading caliber guns for what it, the class is designed to do i i would say the uss black can handle itself maybe in uh, tier 10. tier 9 very good uh, tier 10 in the super ship arena it's you know i would say manageable depending on your play style and what you're supposed to do and uh really again i really really do enjoy it unfortunately it is not available anymore for uh, uh, for any kind of tech tree line or premium, you really have to wait for the the release. I think either and the um, when they do the release of the black uh, black what is it events or like you know where they have uh, the ver the black versions of uh, Georgia Palmer whatever it was those special events when you have maybe uh, container box events or maybe even uh, Christmas events those are the times where you get them in loot crates crates or events like that and. And that, that was the only time I could get it. And I, when I saw it, I was like, I have to jump on this. That's why I'm kind of waiting on the Benham. If they do do the USS Benham again, I would definitely, uh, you know, wait for that, save all my resources and uh, uh, time for that one to grind that one out and get it. But I, re I recommend that one as well. I wanted the US, and the next time I, I uh, have an event for a Benham, I would definitely get it. But USS Black not available uh, in the, any kind of, uh, you know, armory or tech tree or anything. It's really just special events. And I, I do highly recommend if you get a chance to get it, if you're a destroyer main, very, very good gunboat, very good. Uh, Captain Tester, Destroyer, Torpedo Boat, in a sense, if you want to call slow torpedo sea mines, like you can see right here, heading for the Seattle. Uh, again, you saw earlier the Seattle shooting at us. It's great at dodging. Notice I only took 2,000 damage and loss of there. And uh, it's, again, very, very strong. And even just running away, it's it's strong because of that slim, small profile. We're going to sneak up on this Seattle right here. And, and here we go. And like, now, I don't know if the Seattle knows that these sea mines can reload pretty quickly. And they come back. And I'm just going to launch them right into... What I believe he's going to just sit there and loiter. 
I think he's waiting for his radar to come back up, but I'm just going to shoot. Yeah, he, see, he blind fired into an area he thought I was uh, going to be at, but again, I'm just going to launch these sea mines because I know I want this lane right here that he's shooting, if you want to see. I think he's going to loiter right there, so I'm going to just put him right through there, even though he's in reverse. I know he probably will go forward, and now he's distracted because he radared and saw me. Now watch the guns start traversing towards me, and that means that he, he took his guard off the fact that I have torpedoes, and again, he won't see these things unless Hydro's up. For a, while, for a while and he has literally a little bit of time to think about it and this is exactly why it's so devastating and scary because you don't think oh you know it's the USS Black these, these torpedoes are on reload or they're just not available or they're going slow but look they're going so slow that you can't see them in time and then it's just too late and look at these things pack a wall up and boom look at that splash one right off the bat and again that's the power of what the USS Black can do we smoke up to go undetected, and if anybody's around, um, I, I did that as a uh, precautionary measure. I'd rather use them in ranked. Uh, again, I, I use them just to save my hit points because I don't want to lose any because that's the downside. It doesn't have any heals. If this thing did have heals, it would be very, very overpowered, powerful, and ridiculous. I wish the USS Johnson had heals, and it would make that thing powerful. But again, I think the whole Fletcher class, it, they made it where, you know what? You're just going to be a stealth torpedo boat. You don't need heals because you're going to be undetected the whole time, right? Well... I would disagree that the USS Black is really a gunboat DE where you're going out there and throwing yourself in the mix of battle that you're trying to um, take out destroyers, hunt destroyers down. Like right here, the task can right here. You're going to see us go one-to-one -one against it. And he's got 13K hell. We have 9,000. Just look at what we can do. We launched those torpedoes out there. And, uh, and uh, let's see here. Preemptive torpedoes. And they actually pack a wallop. And I think it's going to hit the rubric maybe in the, in the when I do the replay. Tashkin right now not looking at us. Guns are facing in the wrong direction. So let's take a look. And oh, we got the Sage on. We don't want to get caught being shot about a cruiser in addition to a destroyer. But let's take a look how we're going to do this. He is, his guns are not looking at us. So this is a great opportunity to fire. I wait till he's within 7.5, of course, in case I do need to use the radar. Uh, I don't think he has smoke. So it'll be in our benefit right there. Let's take a look at. Uh, let's see. He's going to fire those torpedoes are going out there. Let's see if they're going to. Yep, we're going to take out the test in right there. Let's see if we can get them. I think the rubric is turning in. You can notice right there. So I'll pause it right here. It, here's the rubric. He is not suspecting, even though he has hydro, he is not suspecting these these torpedoes to, um, to come at us. So let's take a look. Where is he at? Yeah. Oh, I can't see him. So yeah, right through there. They, oh, there they are. So those, there are the torpedoes right there. Let's see if we get them. Look at that. So we are getting the rubric. Boom, like that. There's splash two. And then here we go. Get firing on the uh, Tashkin right there. And boom, there it is. Third kill. Three kills in a match, ladies and gentlemen. And that is power. Even though we take a hit, don't worry. We did our part in the battle. And that is exactly why the USS Black is so darn powerful. We do win the match, and the match will end right there. But uh, that is the USS Black, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know about you, what you think about the USS Black in today's meta. Is it powerful? Is it strong? Is it worth it? And when it comes back, uh, would you get it? And I definitely recommend that. But let me know in the comments below what you think. Like, subscribe, button below. Appreciate all the support of the channel. Can't thank you guys enough. At 4,000 subs, do another premium giveaway. The build will be at the end of the video. And again, let me know. And I uh, hope you guys are doing well. If you see me out there, say hi and take care. Be safe. Cheers.